Hey, in this video, I continue the authentication system. The previous video, we can create the registration form. Okay, so in this video, we will create a login and a logout view. At first, go to register and registration with username, email address, first name, last name, password. Okay, then you can log in here. Okay, so then use the username and the password. Password is what? Okay, so now log in. Okay, welcome to the learning club. Welcome. This is the username. You can use first name or last name. Okay, so you can log out here. If you click here, so you can log out. Okay, successfully log out. So if you go to the dashboard, welcome to the learning club. If you log in again with username and password, so you can notice here, here is not and register option or login option because you are already logged in in the landing page. Okay. So here just showing this, you can log out. Okay. If you are logged in, then this block will run. You can log out here. Okay. This is very simple. I will show you in this video. So in the previous video, we create a registration function. So now here we create a login function for login. Okay. Before this, you have to go forms.py here, create a class for login form. Okay, so just type class and then type login form. Okay, inherit forms form dot form. Now type the variable username equal forms dot character field. And then type password. Password equal forms dot character field. And pass the argument with get equal forms dot password input. Okay. So now go to views. At first, you have to import this form. So just type login form. Now create a view for the login. So just type df user underscore login. Okay. So now pass the request argument. Okay. So now type if request dot method equal post. So just type request dot method equal post then form equal login form and just pass the parameter and pass the argument request or post okay because this is post method now if the form is valid create a condition if form dot is valid okay so you have to call it and then type cd cd means clean data clean data equal form dot clean data okay and then type user user equal authenticate but at first you have to import the authenticate and login okay so just type form django dot contrib dot auth import authenticate and login okay so now user equal authenticate and authenticate is what authenticate at first pass the argument request not redirect it request okay now pass the username and the password what is the username username equal username is a parameter and now pass the argument cd and then type the username this username given by the user okay so just go to the form here username is this okay so just go to views and paste here now same for password so password T A S S password equal cd 
and then type password. Now create a condition if user is not none. So just type if user is not none. Okay. This is a boolean value so you don't have to call it and then type if user is active user dot is active and do not call it because it is a boolean value okay you can see it this is a boolean type okay now if the user is active then log in log in at first type the request and then type the authenticate means user okay and then type return and you can use HTTP response or redirect method. Okay. So at first just use the HTTP response. And here just type a message. Authentication successfully. Or login successfully. Okay. So now create a else block. Okay, if user is not active, then create an else block and then return an HTTP response or an error. So just type HTTP response and a message. And the message is what? Disable account. And then create an else block for this block. If user is not none, then create an else block. And then type a message. So just type this and then type invalid login. Okay. And if request.method is not post, then create an else block. This. And then type form equal login form. And do not pass the argument request post. And then type return and render and render to login html pass the first argument request and then type the template name login.html and then pass the django variable name form okay now go to templates so just go to templates here create a login.html login html now go to index now copy this all and paste here okay so just create a form tag form form with post method method is post okay and then action action is what dot okay and just use the form what is the django variable django variable is form form dot as as means as para as underscore p okay you have to use the csrf token also so just type csrf underscore p o k e n csrf token okay now create a submit button b u t t o n button type submit type equal submit okay so now class class is what class is a bootstrap class just say btn btn large and btn success okay now name of the button is login okay so go to index.html here just create a simple condition if user is authenticated then i don't use login and when user is not authenticated i use the login okay so just type a percent percent and if request dot user dot is underscore authenticated okay and then type an else block and then type 
uh, in the log. Okay, when user is not authenticated, so then I type a button for a login. Okay, so just type a anchor tag and class is a bootstrap button. So btn btn large and btn success and hyper reference hyper reference to the login function so just type the url so just type percent percent url and the name of the url is login okay so here just type login name of the button okay so now go to the urls here just create a path for the login okay path and login and type the function name views dot user login and name of the url is login okay okay so now open cmd and then type python manage dot py run server now copy this and go to the browser now paste here okay so you can see the login okay if you click on login then just type the username and password but what is the register so go to registration at first so just create a registration button inside the index.html okay if user is not authenticated then we use the registration button so just copy this and paste here and the url name is registration or reg reg and name of the button is registration and just add a class margin left by okay now if user is not authenticated then these two button will show okay so now go to the urls.py here name of the registration is rage so just give the reg rage name url okay now run the server and just go to dashboard if you want to registration then go to registration otherwise you can log in here so i already have a registration so just click on login so here use kakasur and then use the password now login login successfully okay if i go to dashboard means landing page nothing will show so just here go to index.html if user is authenticated then user message so just type welcome and then type the user name what is the user name user name is request dot user dot user name okay so just give this django variable and now go to browser and you can refresh it so welcome kakasuri kakasuri is my user name okay so here create a logout button so just create a logout button here so i can copy this and if user is authenticated then create a logout button so just change the url name logout and button name is logout okay now go to the url.py create a path for logout okay so just create a path for log out and name of the url is also logout now go to views.py here just create a function logout okay so just 
create a function dea user underscore log out and then type request argument okay so now you have to import the logout and login decorator so just go to top and then import the logout at first from django country auth okay then you have to import the decorator so just type from django contrib auth dot decorator import login required okay so now i can use this login required top of this function logout okay so just type login required and user logout function and then type logout it will take request argument so just pass the request argument and then type uh, HTTP response message okay so where is my HTTP response so just copy it and paste here so you can type here successfully logout or logout successfully okay just write indentation and this is for logout okay now go to urls.py here just change the path the function is user logout okay name is logout so go to login or index.html go to index.html here the name of the url is logout okay so just save it and where is the syntax error so go to urls.py here is the syntax error so just give a comma here and also give a comma here so now save it and run the server okay so now if you refresh it so logout button is here so click on logout logout successfully so just go to the dashboard so just welcome to be learning club you can registration here and log out log in here so click on login and just fill the form and give the password and login okay login successfully i want to redirect this login so you can redirect this go to views.py and just login function go to login function so just so just go to the user login function here just here if user is active then login and http response so just remove it and now use redirect but before this you have to import the redirect okay then you can use it redirect to what index function okay so name of this function url is home just type home and go to urls.py here just give the name name is what home okay remember this name url and this name url should be same okay and here is an indentation error so just fix it and save it okay now run the server and go to the browser so just go to the home page so log out at first so just go to the home page again and you can log in here so just type the username and the password you can log in welcome this is the username and this is the logout and you can redirect to this home page successfully okay so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel we will continue this authentication so thanks for watching this video.